Hey, hey, how's everybody doing today? All right, so I got 179 on the board using what I call my meta build. <laughs> she performed quite well, though I think she's ugly as sin. So in the forward section, we have two agony beam banks, crit damage, damage times four on both of those. We have all three pieces of Lorca's Ambition. So here's the wide angle beam bank, the quantum torpedo, and the Terran Task Force heavy phaser cannons up front. Colony coil crit, deflector dish. Prevailing Innovative Engines. Marsilio Harmonic Warp Core. With the Tilly Shield. And damn, I got 16.5 shield pen on that. The two piece together also gives me 120 hull regeneration. The in advanced inhibiting phaser omnidirectional beam array, which gives you a passive uh, debuff of 16.5 against shields. So that was pretty nice to have back there while the agonies and the cannon beat on them. Threat deterrent charge launcher. Now this one actually comes on the ship. I wasn't that impressed with it. I still like my silicon wave impeller and a couple others. Um, it did damage, it just didn't do that much damage. The third piece from Lorca's Ambition with its crit chance, weapon power, and whopping 157.5 shield penetration standalone. That's why it's on everybody's build actually so we have all three pieces so i get the one percent crit severity buff for 20 seconds that can stack up to 25 times i also get the mystery dark matter torpedo shoots out 360 degrees to enemies that are below 50 percent health from the demos this is the immobilizing phaser lance 15.9% phaser damage and 43.9 shield penetration. Keep adding up that shield penetration. It also does a small passive debuff within 4k of its target. The Ordnance Accelerator with its projectile damage and additional phaser damage. This is the console that goes with that beam array up top. So when the two are together, you get an additional 10% phaser damage. The bio fusion circuit for whole capacity, control expertise, and that crit severity. The point, bomb, point defense bombardier warhead with its projectile damage and 1% crit chance standalone. And the dynamic power redistribution module gives you an additional 11.3 all damage resistance rating and 19% directed energy damage. The two together also provide a cat one 33% phaser damage directed energy weapons. Directed energy weapons just means that it goes through the shields. Assimilated module with its crit chance, crit severity, weapon power, damage control, and control expertise is still a staple of most builds out there. It does a lot for a reputation console. Now we have five vulnerability locators from the Spire 
for phaser damage and critical chance. Remember, the captain of this ship is a Klingon. Adapted offense, unconventional systems, intense focus, superior beam training, beam barrage, innocuous, Terran targeting systems, operative, and self-modulating fire. Starship traits, super weapon ingenuity, emergency weapon cycle, from the ship itself, precision scrapper, okay, <laughs> preferential targeting, best hope of the empire, and Terran goodbye. Space reputation traits, advanced targeting systems for 20% crit severity. That's a lot. Enhanced armor penetration, 6.5. Enhanced shield penetration, 6.5. Omega gravitic amplifier, and that's 2.5. And precision for critical chance 5% so let's get into this run it was really quick you just gotta be careful not to get caught by those explosions man you have like no hull And that's all she wrote. If you launch the game through the Epic Game Launcher, that is my code, dashes and all. It don't cost you a dime. You enter that on checkout and the channel gets a small kickback. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing, leaving a like or a constructive comment. And follow me over on Twitch. It'll always say what game I'm playing and when.